Hello all, welcome to the castle today. Uh, this might be a quicker review version of my He-Man trailer uh, or He-Man review. Now, I've already broke down each episode and I don't know if I'm going to go with that or go with this. So we'll see. Uh, basically, this show is pretty much what every other show is here recently within a probably last two years. Uh, women are awesome as long as there's no dicks around. <laughs> uh, women can do anything as long as there's no men involved. Women, women can be awesome as long as there's no men involved. Basically, the cruts, the, the weakness. Women's, what am I looking for here? Krypton is men. If it wasn't for us pesky men, women would be fucking nowhere because there would be no more human beings. Spoiler alert. Uh, Skeletor, the highlights. Let's go with the highlights first. I apologize. Let's go with the highlights first. Highlights. The animation. Absolutely awesome. Uh, He-Man looked phenomenal what little he was there which was fucking pathetic uh, I've people have said evil in eh, she was hot that's as far as I want to go with it uh, the concept would have been a cool concept if they would have been less obvious with with all the SJW bullshit that they threw in it. This is 100% woke. If you see anyone that says that this wasn't woke, you may not want to watch them anymore because they don't know what they're talking about. This was woke full on. Uh, there was no CT in it, and that was about the best other best part that I can say. Now, let's get into the bad part of it. Skeletor. I can appreciate Mark Hamill. I'm, I'm glad he got this job. I hope he got a good paycheck. And on the odd or bonus, I don't know quite what to call it, on Netflix, Netflix trending, He-Man itself is way down the line. It's like six or seven. And the post show, which I didn't bother to watch. And they're interviewing Mark Hamill about doing Skeletor is way up. It's like number two, which I thought was funny. People would rather watch that than watch the show itself. That says a lot. My problem with Mark Hamill in this is he sounds too damn much like the Joker in it. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. I was waiting for him to say something like, All right, Bats, let's do it again. Or some bull crap like that. But, whatever. It is what it is. I don't understand why they did not use the original voice of Skeletor. They had him in the... <clears throat> they had him in the cast. And he did somebody else. He did Mossman, if I remember correctly. Neither here nor there. Other issues. Tila. Tila was ten times better back in the original He-Man stuff. Her voice. I don't know who voiced her. I do not care. I am not going to spend the time to go look it up. I care less. Don't know who she is, but she is she is 110% ex-girlfriend. She is ex-wife. She is Hillary Clinton, this just grating voice that gets on your nerves and you just want to walk up to her and say, bitch, shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. <laughs> oh, God, it's so nasally. It's just, oh, it's, and it gets, honest to God, you just, it, it made it hard to get through, especially uh, the episode where it's talking about her fear, which was, Wow, it was bad. 
Her fear is how amazing she is. Not making that up. The devil being Skeletor wannabe, whatever it was, told her that. I wished I was making that up. That's how bad it was. But this show, on a whole, I'd probably give it a four. Four out of ten. Now, each episode, depending, because the worst episode was episode three, where it was hinted. The reason why Tila got so upset is she may have had feelings for He-Man. It's alluded to. But also in the same episode, Evelyn alludes to she had feelings for Skeletor, but because of the D, she held herself back, and because of that, she could have been a master. I could have been a master of the universe if it wasn't for that D. And I wished I was making that up too. Because that's just the way it came off. If it wasn't for a man, I could have been awesome. That's it. I don't want to say that. I almost, ooh. That would have been taken the wrong way by not my viewers, but others that <laughs> control whether or not this is seen. If you want time to bond with your children and have nostalgic flashback to your own childhood, go find the old cartoons and watch them. Don't waste your time on this shit. All it's going to do is piss you off. And trust me, it does get worse. Just, hell, it's everywhere. Spoiler alert. They kill He-Man, not once, but twice. And yeah, and it's in the worst way possible. <clears throat> but that's all I've got about, for as far as this is concerned. <sighs> Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next video.